Do I think it's worth like almost $600? Hello, hello, my name is Marissa Nicole. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am filming in my downstairs bathroom because I'm going to be doing a demonstration and review on the Dyson Airwrap system. It looks like this in this really pretty brown box. And it comes with a lot of attachments, but I'm going to mostly focus on the curling attachments because that is what I bought it for. Um, when I first got this system, I was super excited to try it. Oh, I got my bracelet off. Finally. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. This is what it looks like with all the attachments. We have some uh, brushes. We have a round brush. And then we have the two sizes for the curling wand. This is the larger one. And this is the small one. Oh, and then we have the regular little blow dry head. And then of course we have the device that makes it all work. So I'm gonna run through it. We're going to do a little demonstration. So I got out of the shower and I've been letting my hair air dry. It's pretty dry. I would say it's a little damp, but I think this is like the best texture to use this system. If it's super wet, then it takes forever to work. Um, so maybe I'll just wet it a little bit on the end since my hair is a little bit dry. Go ahead and do that. Sweat it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to use this Olaplex bonding oil right here. My hair is looking a little dry because ever since I lightened it, it is a little dry. So I'm gonna try this out. Just got this the other day. I'm gonna run it through my hair. Really get it on in there. And then I'm going to take the blow dryer out of the system. And what I do like about this is that the wire is like super long. Super, super long. So you don't have to worry about it not reaching you. I'm gonna plug it in. So this is what the blow dryer looks like without any of the attachments on. I am going to be using, first let me section my hair actually. Sorry, I forgot to do that. So my hair is pretty damp right now. I would say about 80% dry and I'm just going to section it. Okay, so I went ahead and sectioned up my hair and I'm going to start with this attachment right here. Um, this is the bigger size barrel. I'll show you both sizes. But all you do is snap. So it locks into place pretty good. Sometimes if you don't put it on correctly, this thing will just go flying off. So just make sure that you are locking it into place. And then I take a section like this big and what I do is um, right here on the sides, you can see that it has, let's see, you can see, has different settings. So I always keep it on the medium heat because the hot gets super hot. Like I can't even take it and I love, I love hot everything, but this is like burning your head off hot. So I usually keep it on the medium heat and then this is the fan. I keep the fan all the way up and then I will turn this on into the middle part and it'll turn on the, the wand. And then when you want to cool it, you just press and hold it all the way, this little button all the way up. So the way I do it is I turn it on like this, and then I flip my arm over like this as if I was curling with a regular wand. Turn it on and then, oh, it's the wrong side. Okay, I always do that actually gonna be this one for this side. Okay, so point it down upside down, turn it on, and then wrap it around as I would a curling iron. And it should stay. And then you just test it to see if it's ready or not. Now when you feel like 
it's ready, you push this button down to the cool air and hold it. And then you let it go and it'll kind of just release the hair. Like that. Then you get a nice cute little curl. So I'm gonna show you guys again. Grab this piece, brush it out. And we're gonna do the same thing. Point your wand down, turn it on and wrap it around. And you blast the cooler for about 10 seconds. And then make sure that it's set. And then you turn it off and then they fall out. Kind of hold it for a second. And then you get a really nice, pretty curl. Like that. So now I'm gonna move on to the other side. And the other side, you're gonna need the air um, the wand with the arrows going the opposite direction. So I'm just going to unlock this, take it off, place this one on, make sure it's locked in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but just the opposite. So I still face the wand downward and then I'm gonna turn it on and then wrap it around and hold it. Let me show you. on its own. You don't really have to hold the hair like you would a curling iron one. And the curls are pretty shiny. I will say that this does a really good job at taking out the frizz of your hair because you can see my hair is pretty frizzy. So I'm going to do the next piece. Because it wants to start pulling all of the hair. Like if it, if I just let this go, all the rest of the hair would go in it, and then it just like it takes it. It just kind of grabs it. It's so crazy. Okay, so I had to switch to my phone camera because my because my camera keeps on dying. It's freaking pissing me off. But anyways, I've done the bottom section, and this is what the curls look like after a few minutes. This is one of my problems with the Dyson is that when the curls first come out they look so nice and curly and then they kind of fall like a lot. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my hair. Actually I'll do one more section so I can walk you through it and then I'm going to speed it up and do the rest of my hair and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. But this is what it's looking like so far. Oh and here's the little baby. I am five and a half months now. Always out of breath. Now, this jumpsuit is from Naked Wardrobe. But I'm going to be doing a whole haul, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But let's go on to the next section. I don't grab a super thick sections or else like it doesn't curl as well. I'm going to switch to the smaller barrels um, just so you guys can see what those curls look like. Let me show you a comparison. So these are the size comparison. These are the larger ones. This is the smaller one. I mostly use a large one um, but the curls are a lot tighter for the, with the small ones so I'm going to show you guys that. Go ahead and snap it on. Grab my first section. Like I did the other one, I'm going to pull, put my hand over my head, point the barrel down, turn it on, and then wrap it around. Shake it, shake it, shake it. 
And then this is what these curls look like with the smaller barrel at first. I'm not gonna touch it because I want it to remain curly, um, but you guys will see how much it falls on its own. So I'm gonna continue doing this bottom area and fast forward it just a little bit. too much hair it won't take the full amount so just a little thing but sometimes I get lazy and I just it. so as you can tell they're super shiny and super curly um, a lot curlier with the smaller one which I think actually I like better so I'm going to continue using that one and I'm going to show you how I do it from the back. Just put my arm like this, point the barrel down, and then wrap it around. like so far and I'm just gonna go ahead and finger brush on this side and give this a little brush super shiny I'll show you the back go ahead and finish the middle section of my hair and when I get to the bangs in the front area then I'll come back and show you how I do that this is what it looks like so far. Very shiny, very pretty. I'll be back. So I finished with the majority of my hair. I haven't brushed it or anything on the top. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I do the front pieces. Um, so as you can see, this is what my hair, like air dried looks like. It's pretty frizzy, wavy, and I feel like the Dyson has completely taken the frizz out of my hair. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do, ooh, crazy, the top part. I'm going to kind of part my hair down the middle, which I never do because girls gotta move up all hard. I'm gonna take off this attachment and use the round brush attachment. And just kind of round brush at the front pieces. So it seems like it smoothed it out compared to back here. You can see some shine and some smoothness. I actually haven't tried the flat brush head, this one. So I'm gonna just try it just for shits and gigs. Pop it on there. And let's try this little section right here. And it feels really nice and shiny but I'm gonna go ahead and curl these pieces and then I'm going to let you guys know my final thoughts Close this side Close and curled so move on to this side also I switched the heat um, too hot because I feel like it curls better when it's on the hottest setting, but it does kind of burn So you just have to be very careful This side
this is this side. And this is this side. It's really, really curly, really, really shiny. Um, I never wear my hair like this down the middle. I think I look crazy, so I'm gonna flip it to my side. very bouncy too. So this is the final result. It's super shiny, super bouncy. feels really, really nice and healthy. And it looks really pretty. I mean, I can't lie on that. Like it looks really, really pretty. So do I like the way it came out? Absolutely. It looks really pretty. Do I think it's worth like almost $600? I don't know. It takes a long time. Okay, I'm gonna go through pros. Pros and cons. Okay, so so the pros are that you can blow dry and curl your hair at the same time. Uh, your hair becomes really, really shiny. It takes out the frizz out of your hair, which is awesome. And it looks nice and healthy, very bouncy. It does come with six attachments, so that's a plus. <sighs> cons, I would say it takes a long time to do. Uh, it takes practice and it's a lot of money. It's very, very, very expensive. Um, I think that you can achieve this look with a curling iron and just a regular blow dryer. I have the, the Revlon style brush uh, that I'm absolutely in love with that does the pretty much the same thing as this thing. And I think the Revlon one is actually better than this because it's larger, covers more hair and it's a lot quicker to dry that way. If you have the money and this is something that you've been wanting to try, I would say 100% try it. I think it's worth trying. Um, I got this as a birthday gift, so I'm glad I tried it, but I don't know if I would spend that much money on this, honestly, because it's a lot of money. And I feel like with the curling iron, you can just do the same thing and it won't take as long, in my opinion, but. My hair is super shiny, so I do like that. So I'm still unsure if I'm going to return this and get like six other things at Sephora since I did get this as a birthday gift or if I'm going to keep it. I don't know yet. I kind of feel like I might return it just because it's so much money and I can get so many things with that amount of money. Just like, I feel like I can't really justify the price. Um, but does it work? Absolutely. Does it make your hair shiny? Yes. Does it take the frizz out? Yes. Does it curl? Yes. Curls, curls are really pretty, but like I said, I do think you can achieve this with just a regular curling iron. And I do think that it takes a lot longer with this device to curl your hair. Um, it's a little chaotic too. Like you have to really be in the mood to like, get this done you know what I mean <laughs> so that is it for this video let me know what you guys think down below make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and thank you guys so much for watching bye